Hello guys, it's Horino HKB Studios here, and today I'm bringing you a uh, video on the best guns in COD Ghosts. Today we're going to be covering the sniper rifles and the shotguns. So let's get into this. Let's start with the sniper rifles. First we've got the USR. The USR is one of the two bolt action snipers, which both come with recoil compensators, which reduces kick with each, each kill as you can see there. Both of the bolt actions come with that, however the semi-autos do not which is quite good balancing in my opinion, <laughs> but uh, the USR is probably my second favorite out of the two the two bolt actions. This is my least favorite. Uh, I preferred the L115. I found that the USR gave me more hit markers and it was less consistent <clears throat> with uh, with compared to the L115, which we'll move on to now. The L115 is the other bolt action sniper rifle, which I find is better than the US. I think I like this. This is probably going to be the sniper that all the, the quick scopers use and you know all the phase guys and all those. I think they can be using the L15. It's pretty it's pretty good. It's got uh, lots of it's got a very large one shot kill range and it's just a very good gun. Now we've got the Lynx. The Lynx is mmm the Lynx is not very good in my opinion. It's probably my least favorite sniper rifle. I mean <sighs> It's lower mobility than all the other ones, so you move slower than you do with every single other sniper rifle. What's one advantage with the USR of the L115 though? You do move faster. Also, the length has a very slow ADS time, and the damage is a bit inconsistent. Sometimes it does well, sometimes it doesn't do too well. It's not really reliable at all. And last, you've got the VKS. The VKS has an integrated silencer, but still manages to get one-shot kills most of the time, which I think is quite impressive. It's better, and uh, it's semi-auto as well, and the recoil always, it's very heavy recoil, but it's always up and to the right, like northeast, which which can be controlled uh, by players, especially because snipers tend to use high sensitivities. It's uh, it's quite easily controlled, but um, I think this is a very good sniper in the right hands. It's It's... Highest rate of fire and its last and highest ammo capacity, as it says here, and it's got an integrated silencer, and it still does as well as some of the other guns, which I think is is really good. So overall, I'd say the L15 is the best, followed by the VKS, followed by the USR. I mean, all these three are very close together, but then way, way, way down at the bottom, I've got the links. Say so on a scale out of ten, with the L15 being ten and the links being one. I'd make the so the L15 is 10, the VKS I'd say is about 9, and the US I'd say is about 8.5, whereas the Lynx is all the way down at 1. Um, then to move on to the shotguns, we've got the Bulldog here, which is the semi auto, one of the two semi autos. Uh, it's, it's probably got that, I think, the highest rate of fire. I think it's got a higher rate of fire than the other semi auto. Yep. Uh, However, I think compared to the other semi-auto, it's not, not nearly as good. It's much more inconsistent when it comes to damage. I mean, usually the range drop-off was quite short, and you'll uh, you won't really get one-shot kills most of the time. I mean, from from a decent range, unless you're like point blank, it's it's hard to really use this thing. But I mean, if you are if you are very close range, it is absolutely anni it'll absolutely annihilate people. It's it's just like that, but it's only from like point blank range. You might as well use melee there, melee. But um, now let's move on to the FP6, which is the pump action shotgun, one of the two pump actions. Uh, strongest damage in its class. However, this is uh, this is well, we'll get onto this a bit in detail a bit later. But it really depends on your playstyle, which uh, which shotgun is the best. This is a very good damage. It's pump action. It's got a pretty decent uh, the fire rate with the pump. It doesn't take too long as, as some guns do. Uh, it has a pretty decent clip size as well. And and it's probably the best shotgun for hip firing. We'll get onto that when we move on to the last shotgun. Yeah, but just keep that in mind. It's the best hip firing. Next we've got the MTS-255. This thing was quite good in terms of damage, accuracy, and the fire rate. The only thing I really, really dislike Sorry, no, the accuracy and damage. The only thing that I really dislike is the fire rate, and but that's at least bearable. But the clip size is awful. The clip size it just runs out of bullets so fast, and it takes quite a while to reload. So I just would not recommend using this gun. And lastly, we move on to the TAC-12, which looks like a remake of the KSG, while the FP6 is a remake of the M10-14, uh, as it seems, or M10-6, yeah, M10-14. Um, that's what it looks like. But um. As you can see, this has a smart choke for tight spread when aiming down sight, which is what I meant when I said uh, it, the FP6 is the best for hip firing, if you remember that. Um, this is also a pump action gun compared to the Bulldog and the MTS 255, which are uh, semi autos. But um, this is a very large clip capacity, It's uh, and the smart choke really does help. I mean, some people will. Very. Um, 
I think it was very controversial whether the smart choke would actually help or not, but I think it does. Um, definitely, it definitely really helps when aiming down sights. So it all depends on your playstyle. I'd say the f in ratings, if I had to put them in order, with these two would be interchangeable depending on your playstyle. If you're more of a hip fire person, I'd put the FP6 at the top. If you're more of an aim down sight person, I'd put the TAC at the top. But uh, I personally prefer the FP6 because I'm more of a hip fire person. I don't really aim down the sights much with shotguns. So if I was rating the FP6 10 and then the MTS 255 as 1, I'd put the I'd put the Bulldog at about 5 and I'd put the TAC 12 at about 8. Um, but that's just my preference. I mean, if you guys prefer aiming downsides, you're more conservative like that, then trust me, go ahead, use it. It's, it's a, that's what it's designed for. But um, if you did enjoy this and you want to see the other episodes, the assault rifle and submachine guns, there should be an annotation on screen or a link in the description. And for the uh, light machine guns and the marksman rifles will be the final episode, which will come tomorrow. Sorry, the second last one before the... It'll be the last one of the primary weapons. But um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. It really, it really, uh, really means...